y'all welcome back to good eats with tip let's get into this creamy cheesy broccoli casserole y'all so i started out by adding salt to my water for my broccoli and i just allowed my broccoli to cook until it was almost done i still like to have a little crunch to my broccoli you do not want soggy broccoli unless that's the way you enjoy your broccoli um next i go in and i go ahead and cook my rice um, once the broccoli is done, you want to just go ahead and add that to the pan. And then I just use a spoon to just kind of chop it up. If you don't like it chopped, you don't have to chop it. This is just the way I like mine. Um, next I'm going to go in and go ahead and add in my rice. Usually when I do my rice, I usually do bag rice. I didn't have it, but I usually just do one bag of rice. Um, then I go in with my egg. Um, go in with a cream of mushroom and two cream of chickens for this. Um, I usually do um, two cream of mushroom and one cream of chicken. Accidentally did it with two cream of chickens and it still came out amazing, even better, y'all. So I'm just going in and I'm stirring in that broccoli with the rice and the cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. Then I go in with my seasonings, y'all. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back to Good Eats with Tip. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and make sure you like this video and ring that notification bell for more content, y'all. All right, so I'm just going to finish mixing this in here. And once I get it all mixed, I'm going to go ahead and add in my cheese. If you notice, I just kind of do a little bit of everything at a time because I don't want to do too much and then the flavor does not come out the way I want it. Um, so I go in here and I also add another tablespoon of mayonnaise. I love Hellman's. That's what I use, y'all. Um, so, and then once I get that mixed in, then I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of even out the mixture that I've created. And then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top. And then you can do this beforehand and during your prep. Go ahead and mash your crackers. Um, I probably did about a cup, maybe a little bit more of crackers. I'll put all of the um, information in the um, recipe. Um, just go to tipsgoodeats.com. So once I get this um, evenly over, I'm just gonna place it in the oven and get it until it's all good and toasty. Um, and then I pull it out of the oven and this is how it looks. It's so good, it was so good. Even when I messed up the amount of cream of chicken, it was so good, y'all. It was like the perfect mess up. <laughs> Make sure y'all go ahead and like, like, like. It does not cost you a thing to like the video. Like the video. Um, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and ring that notification bell. Check out the other recipes that I fixed with this um, meal. Everything turned out so great. Make sure you guys stay blessed and have an amazing week. I will see you in the next video. Peace.